29 unbelievable seeds in Minecraft 1.18. With the full Caves and Cliffs release, Minecraft's world generation got a huge overhaul, but that also means that the seeds of the past don't work the same. So today, let's see a brand new set of worlds for you to explore in 1.18. And hey, according to YouTube, no one's ever subscribed to the channel with the back of their finger. So if you're up to the challenge, whack the back of your index finger on that red sub button below. It's free and it ups out a ton. Number one, if you're looking for a desert temple, where's the first place you'd look? And while it might seem obvious to find one of these on the desert surface, today, that's just not the case. And as you can see from this seed, this temple actually generates entirely within a cave, which when you're branch mining for hours and find nothing, this is a welcome sight for sure. Number two, now on first glance, pillagers don't look like a tasteful bunch. And honestly, the lack of manners doesn't exactly help their image. But it turns out they can appreciate a good set of real estate when they see it, which is why this woodland mansion happened to spawn right within the water. And I'd call that a prime piece of property. Number three, if you showed someone back in 2011 what Minecraft world generation looked like today, they'd probably think it's some crazy mod. And to me, this definitely fits that vibe. The jagged snow peaks on display here are something to really take in. And honestly, even though I don't usually build within the snow, this has got me reconsidering my choices. Number four, falling into a ravine can be a real wake up call. And usually it's an end of your journey in more ways than one, but this might just one up that. See, here we've got a seed with a ridiculous drop that goes all the way down to diamond level. So if you have a water bucket with you, I guess it could work out. Number five, well, everyone's focused on the new world generation allowing for gigantic mountains. That's not to say that we don't get some cool valleys as well. And for my money, this is an example of that. Because not only do we spawn in this huge valley, but we also have two villages and two outposts nearby. So there's plenty here to get you started. Number six, when building, it's nice to have a couple of options. And it seems like Mojang even knows that, as you can see from this world generation. Surprisingly, this seed generated in such a way to not only have one, but three different entrances to the portal room. And that is cool, but with zero eyes in the portal, it feels like our luck might have run out. Number seven, once you've played in enough new worlds, you've definitely come across spawning in the middle of nowhere on an island. And while the survival island challenge dates back to even the early versions of the game, here it looks a bit more pleasant. And hey, if it's still not for you, then at least the trees here will allow for a boat to get away. Number eight, as Minecraft gets more changes to its world generation, it's got some of us asking, where are the volcanoes? And while there don't seem to be any in the works, this unintentional seed might do the trick. Here, a ruined portal spawned right atop one of the new mountains, giving us one of those lava-filled peaks that we've been waiting for all this time. Number nine, Minecraft's generation can lead to some great occurrences, but that doesn't always mean that makes sense. And this mansion attests to that. And now it almost begs the question, does it even count as a woodland mansion if there are no woods nearby? And while it's a philosophy question that get even Socrates scratching his head, it is a cool sight nonetheless. Number 10, coral reefs are one of the most naturally beautiful sights in a Minecraft world, especially at night. But this takes it to another level. See, as others have pointed out, this coral reef generated in something of a cheese cave, meaning it's spaced out across the ocean floor like so. And it's a worthwhile use for your water breathing potion, that's for sure. Number 11, if you've messed around with a haste 2 beacon, chances are you've found some excuse to dig a quarry before. But here, it looks like our work might've already been done for us. Within the Mesa biome, we've got this real sight of a crater that carves quite the pattern into the landscape. And that view from above is nothing short of breathtaking. Number 12, with the new cliffs, we're gonna see a lot more mountains in our day to day. But even by those standards, this is next level. On this seed, when you spawn in, we start all the way up at Y level 235, which alone would be absurd, but with the kind of craters and stony peaks that neighbor us, it's all something worth experiencing. Number 13, now clearly sending off a desert pyramid trap can only end one way. And while I wouldn't usually advocate for stepping on the pressure plate, this might be a good time to press the button. And while you're pressing buttons, why not stomp on that subscribe button for notifications on new 1.18 uploads? Thank you, it helps out a ton. Because after you subscribe and that prime TNT goes off, we can see quite the spectacle underneath. And with the lush caves and lakes nearby, it proved that even a disaster could lead to something beautiful. Number 14. Now, I'm sure we're all excited about the concept of exploring the cave generation 1.18, but this might be a bit too eager. See, on this seed, we don't have to go searching for a cave. And in fact, we spawn right within a tomb of stone with no way out. Well, make sure you say goodbye to the surface before you spawn on this one. Number 15. Finding a mine shaft is already cause for a celebration, and finding one exposed from the surface is even better. So when this seed gives us the chance to not only drop within a mine shaft, but then also explore the lush cave that it's within, that's jackpot material. And hey, if that's still not good enough for you, then the amethyst geo nearby should seal the deal. Number 16. Calling something an island always seems silly to me, because at some point, every landmass is an island. And this seed is one of those that exceeds our expectations of an island. With five out of the six overworld wood types, an outpost, and a stronghold to top it all off, it's more of a continent in my eyes, but one worth visiting. Number 17. When you're settling down to survival, it sometimes can take traveling hundreds, if not thousands of blocks to find the peak location. But this is a rare case where we spawn within that paradise. And while it's easy to appreciate the different biomes in the village that we've got nearby, I'm personally paying attention to the shipwreck that's all the way up on this iceberg, which suggests quite the story. Number 
number 18. Take it from any medieval builder, moats are all the rage. And if it worked for them, these defense systems are probably pretty solid. So to save us the trouble of digging all that ourselves, this offers both a solution and a prime piece of real estate. And whether you make it into an island or keep it as a peninsula, it should do the trick both ways. Number 19. One of the subtle changes to 1.18 is that the villages now spawn less frequently and more spread out. And if more spread out was the goal, then I'd say that this fits the bill. In this seed, we not only get an island village, but we also have a coral reef around the perimeter, which is a vacation I'm sure the villagers appreciate. Number 20. Raiding a pillager outpost can be something of a challenge, especially if you're not prepared to fight the foes. But this example is hard to raid for an entirely different reason. And really, without a Rapunzel to let down her hair, we might have a tough time climbing this extra tall outpost. But even if we can't, it's still worth seeing, even if you're just on the surface. Number 21. Jungle biomes can be a tricky pick to find, and I'm sure many of us can relate to searching thousands of blocks just to come up with nothing. But this might be hard to find for an entirely different reason, seeing as a large ring of mountains keep it hidden from the outside, which is stunning once you find it, but the search to do so might take a bit of time. Number 22. Let's face it, pirates are cool, but in Minecraft, there's not much here to make you feel like Jack Sparrow, though this cove could be a good start. Here, we've got a lovely lush cave that opens right out to the water, all surrounded by tall mountain walls, meaning even if you're a land-loving scallywag, I think all of us can appreciate how good this looks. Number 23. Okay, folks, there are craters, and then there are seeds like this. And I think this humongous of a hole requires its own classification. But names aside, the scope of this thing is tough to match. And with dripstone spikes along the bottom, it's maybe the last thing you'd want to slip into. Number 24. When you first find a village, the main thing we're looking for is a blacksmith. But here, you don't have to look too hard. Would you believe it, but this seed spawns a village with three of the things lined up like so. And outside of an iron farm, that's maybe the most ingots you'll ever get from a village. Number 25. If you're looking for a spot to fish, I can't imagine anywhere much cooler than this. I mean, you've got a spawn next to a massive crater, featuring a lake, and a village for you to visit and sell your findings to. And while that's just one example, I think there's plenty here just waiting for you to put it to use. Number 26. If you're looking to collect a bunch of stained terracotta without giving up on your vibrant trees, this might be the perfect intersection. As it generated, we've got this beautiful mashup of lush jungle greens with the warm hues of the mesa nearby. And speaking to someone who usually builds in one of those two biomes, that's a dream come true. Number 27. Some seeds just get better the more you explore them, and I think this is one of those. Here, we've not only got a beautiful forest in the crater of a mountain, but nearby have ourselves both a dripstone cave and a village spread out across the top of the mountainside. Adding the outposts over here, and there's plenty packed within the starting area of this seed. Number 28. Look, I love living in a mesa biome, but the lack of greenery does start to weigh on you. And even if you bring grass, it doesn't look the part. But here, what matters is on the inside, because in this seed, we get something of a Swiss cheese pattern opening up into a lush cave on the inside, giving us some of that balance that we're looking for. Number 29. Sometimes it's hard to notice how great a seed is until you step back to appreciate it. Like this example. From ground level, these coordinates seem pretty standard. Boring, even. But from above, we'll notice we get the spitting image of a fish developed as the island. And even better, the thing somehow managed to generate right within a coral reef, making this Nemo the perfect fit. And with that, folks, have a good one. All right.